Hi, so I am Joash. I am a postdoc in Professor Fran Bockel's lab at the Bart's Cancer Institute, Queen Mary University of London. So my grandfather, who was also my godfather, was diagnosed with late stage stomach cancer. Unfortunately, he passed away uh, not so long after his diagnosis. Uh, his suffering was one of the driving force that led me to pursue a career in cancer research. We develop artificial tumors in our lab using cancer cells derived from patients. And using these tumor models, we study a specific immune therapy called CAR T cell therapy. So CAR T cell therapy involves training your own immune cells to recognize and fight cancer cells. And this type of therapy seems to be quite effective in some type of leukemia where we see complete remission in most cases. But when it comes to solid tumors, this therapy hasn't been very effective. So we wanted to see why that is and how we could improve CAR T cell therapy in solid tumors. Cancer cells, they don't exist in a vacuum. Tumors are part of this incredibly intricate neighborhood of cancer cells, immune cells, blood vessels, and even healthy cells. So when we study the interaction of CAR T cells with cancer cells, we need to incorporate these factors into our experiments in the lab. So we developed a microfluidic model of ovarian cancer. Microfluidic models are these bioengineered chips with tiny channels of flow. And you could inject cells into these channels where they will grow to form these vascular network and tumor uh, environment within these channels. In this paper, we describe two ovarian cancer cells. Theoretically, both of these cells should be killed by the CAR T cells, but it came to us a surprise that one of them was sensitive and the other one was resistant to CAR T cells. Our study is a proof of concept study. More research is required to translate our findings into clinic. But overall, what we believe is that combining CAR T cell therapy with other forms of cancer therapies could possibly induce better efficiency of CAR T cell therapy in solid tumors. So the great thing about working at BCI was that I was able to meet great scientists and I believe that we do high standard cancer research here and I'm so glad to be part of it.